Hi, I'm Daryl Chong. I'm at the Door Park Tennis Courts in San Jose. I'm going to show you a simple technique to help uh, beginners learn to hit a forehand. And of course it requires a lot of movement. It requires trying to bring the racket to the side and come around. You gotta rotate your shoulders. You gotta rotate your hips. And of course you see a lot of beginners just start this all arm. Right? Even myself sometimes. Too much arm. Or the banging arm. The arm just kind of dangles over here. And, uh, how do you coordinate all that? How do you learn it? And uh, I learned this trick in a uh, junior class from uh, Coach Mike Friedman, who was teaching at the uh, Jewish Community Center well, 20 years ago or so, 25 years ago. He was teaching six year old kids this. And it seemed to be quite effective if you would uh, if they'd try it, because they couldn't coordinate all these three different movements into one. How do you do it and still hit the ball? So he taught them one technique that does, a, I call it a three in one. And the simple technique that he taught was, you take your hand, your off hand, in this case your left hand, and track the right hand movement. And then come around and catch. And the idea there is to, as you wait for the ball to bounce and you start the movement, and you see your shoulders are turned, your hips are turned, and everything coming around at the same time. Again, wait for the ball to bounce. Boom. Right. The ball is about to bounce. And glide together. So you keep the hands together without touching. You don't touch the other hand into the end. So I right, get ready. Boom. Boom. Eventually, of course, they'll want to learn how to point toward the target. Of course. Like, so, point. Boom. But this is kind of hard to learn at first. So get ready to hit the ball, and do all that, turn your shoulders, turn the hips, and do that. But if you simply let the left hand track the movement of the right hand, everything, boom, everything set up and go. Oh, okay. Actually, it helps me too. I've been working on that again lately to help my own forehand. So, if you work for beginners, intermediates, kids, you know, especially kids who are just starting out. And so, um, that's today's tip. Tip from uh, junior lessons that were given to my son years ago in, in his class of so six year old Tiny Tots. And, uh, it really works. Give it a try and try it yourself. Just try. Cool. Okay.